The scale tool adjusts the size of items in your model. To scale items, go to transform and then select scale. Or select the item to scale and then choose scale from the adaptive menu. When scaling items, you can choose between a uniform and non-uniform type. To scale an item, select the item you want to scale. From the adaptive menu, select scale and then choose a uniform type. The uniform scale type scales an item in all directions proportionally. While the non-uniform scale type scales an item in any direction with different proportions along axes. Once the item is selected, you can drag the center of the gizmo to specify a different location for the scale center point. You can also turn on the copy badge if you want to scale a copy instead of the original. To scale, drag the handle to adjust the scale of the selection, or use the dimension label to enter a scale value on a keyboard or the numpad. After creating the scaled copy, you can position it using the Move or Rotate tool. To finish, select an empty area of the grid. To view or refine history parameters for the scale tool, find the specific step for your scale action and open the expandable card. From there, you can update the parameters for center, target bodies, target faces, target edges, and XYZ scale values. To choose a different center point for your scale, click or tap Edit or select Beside Center. Adjust the gizmo center to where you want it to be and then select Done to finish. To choose a different body, face, or edge to scale, click or tap Edit or select beside target bodies, target faces, or target edges. Choose a different body, face, or edge, and then select Done to finish. To choose between a uniform and non-uniform scale, simply turn on or turn off uniform. To adjust the scale value for a uniform scale, enter the value in the scale field. To adjust the scale values for a non-uniform scale, enter the values in the Scale X, Scale Y, and Scale Z fields. To keep a copy of your original item, turn on Copy.